The excitement of the holiday season and the much anticipated visit from St. Nick was often marked by certain sights and sounds in Norfolk County years ago. Snow in the air, the ringing of bells from passing sleighs, and the publication of a special Christmas edition by the Pierce Publishing Company. The Christmas newspapers of the 1890s, first published by Pierce's Waterford Star and later their Simcoe Reformer, often included a full-page, multicolor cover, an impressive feature for newspapers of the day, along with Christmas stories and gift-giving advertisements from the village shops, the latest in women's fashions, dapper men's hats, and the most prized clockwork toys. The Pierces were a longtime newspaper family, with Percy John taking ownership of the Waterford Star in 1874, followed by his son, Percy George Pierce, who expanded the company to include the Simple Reformer in 1922. Other members of the family took on reporting, printing, and secretarial roles. The third generation to enter the business was Percy George's son, Bruce Murdoch Pierce. Bruce was born in Waterford on December 4, 1900, and for a half century, the byline by Bruce M. Pierce was as good as writing and editing God in the newspaper business. A graduate of McMaster University and U of T's Osgoode Hall Law School, Bruce became editor of The Reformer and president of the Pierce Publishing Company Limited. He married Ellen Elizabeth Spearing in 1926, and they had a son, Richard, who later became editor of the Simcoe Reformer, as well as three daughters, Sally, Judith, and Nancy. Over his illustrious career, Bruce expanded the Reformer from weekly to twice a week, then three times a week, and finally in 1960, a daily that came out five times a week. His keen understanding of the publishing world brought great success for the business. He understood the importance of good research and trustworthiness for the readership. Bruce's interest in Norfolk County's history, which resulted in a number of significant publications, serve as a good example of his high standards in research and the importance of documentation. These history books, including historical highlights of Norfolk County, published in 1973, have stood the test of time and are a much valued part of the Norfolk County Archives collection today. Outside of his roles with the newspapers, Bruce was an active member of the community. He was a charter member of the Simcoe Rotary Club when it was formed in 1925 and was a president of the Norfolk Historical Society. He served on the Norfolk General Hospital Board of Governors for 30 years, which saw him take a leadership role in the hospital's expansion. As a Mason, Bruce served as Master of Norfolk Lodge No. 10 Simcoe and District Deputy of Wilson District AF and AM. Early in his career, Bruce wrote and published a book on the life of Grand Master William Mercer Wilson, one of the most distinguished figures in Norfolk County's history. Bruce retired from the newspaper in 1968, but continued to write articles well into the 1970s. As one of Norfolk County's most prominent citizens, Bruce was a widely respected gentleman. He enjoyed good health into his 84th year, passing on August 10, 1984, and interred at Waterford's Greenwood Cemetery.